going wild in one neighborhood in plantation. Residents are waking up to find their front yards destroyed by the pigs and their snouts. Over time, Roger Lozzi joins us live. And you spotting yourself tonight? Well, Lord, despite our best efforts today, no, we did not see any hogs, any pigs, but we have seen lots of damage caused by them. Come over here, take a look. This side yard here of this daycare, you can see it's just ripped to shreds. Absolute proof that this quiet little community is gone hog wild. The strange markings first appeared two months ago. It just looks like your, your grass is just torn off, like if you take the side and turn it upside down. Residents were perplexed by the damage. Until a homeowner snapped this blurry shot of the culprit, a feral hog, wild pig, whatever you call it, it's wreaking havoc on neatly manicured lawns in plantation acres. It's not unusual to see them in a pen, but running around and tearing up people's yards, it's a different thing. The hogs work in the woods of this rural community during the day. At night, their snouts get busy, rooting in the soil for food. One homeowner's been hit several times. He had to put up wire fence to keep the hogs off his lawn. Allison Jenkins says she recently saw a whole pack of pigs parading in the parking lot near the kindergarten where she works. What color were they? Brown. Were they hairy? I mean, I couldn't tell from that far away, but they were big. And they were just running around and they attacked the grass over there. And this right here is where they're, you can see where they're coming in and out. Professional yes. trapper John Girardi was hired by homeowners to solve his pig problem, but was unable to outsmart the swine. They kept their snouts out of his traps. He believes there's upwards of 20 feral hogs roaming in the neighborhood. Uh, when we went into the woods, we spotted four piglets, probably between the size of 60 and 80 pounds. And there are signs of a boy that's probably pushing two to 300 pounds. Residents are concerned the hogs are getting a little too comfortable in their community, turning their neighborhood into a pigsty. I would have shot them, you know, no dinner, you know, supply the whole street. But they say we, we can't do that. No, you can't. Even though the state of Florida does consider hogs, feral hogs, nuisance animals, residents are allowed to kill them on private property. But in the city of Plantation, it is illegal to shoot a gun or a bow and arrow within the city limits, so residents are kind of in a tough position. The trapper says there's some indication that somebody may be feeding the hogs back in the woods there. They're hopeful that if they can stop that activity, that perhaps, Lori, they'll have better luck with the traps next time. Roger, you mentioned a daycare, a kindergarten. I mean, are these hogs dangerous to children or adults? Well, especially when you're talking about one that's two or three hundred pounds. Yes, absolutely. The trapper says that right now the sows are actually giving birth. And if somebody gets in between the sow and their piglets, the sow could charge them. A boar, if there's spot one out in the field or in the parking lot and you get too close, absolutely. That's why they're urging residents, don't get too close to these animals. If you see them, call the professionals. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, somebody tells me we're going to be out there a lot on this one. Let's <laughs> resolve. Rock and yeah. live in Plantation. Thank you. And what a warm, nice day, actually.